Hello everyone. In a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how to create a JavaFX application using Eclipse IDE. In this new video, I will show you how to create an executable jar file for this JavaFX application. So to run this application, I have to make a right click, then run as, then Java application. So we obtain this interface. If I write some text in this field, then when I click on OK, this text will be displayed as the title. And also we can see that the message button clicked will be displayed on the console. So let's click on OK again, and you can see that this text has been displayed again. Now I will show you how to create the executable jar file. So let's close this application, then let's make a right click on the project name. Now let's click on export. In this window, we have to expand Java, then we have to select runnable jar file. Now let's click on next. So we have to select the main class, so we have to click on this button, and I have this main class, so I need just to select it. Now I need to provide the path and the file name of this jar file. So let's click on browse, and I want to create the jar file on the desktop. And I want to call it first JavaFX application. Now let's click on save. But here we have this message. VM arguments will not be part of the runnable jar file. So this means that we cannot run the jar file by making double click. So let's click on finish. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK again and we can obtain our jar file just here. As I said, we cannot run this jar file by making double click. So if I make double click, we can see that nothing happens. So to run this jar file, we need to copy a command from Eclipse IDE. So let's click on this button, then let's click on Run Configuration. In this window, we have to click on Arguments, then we need to copy this command. Now let's close this window. Let's minimize Eclipse IDE. Now we need to open the command prompt. Now let's move to the desktop. Then we have to type Java followed by the command that we have copied. Then hyphen jar and the name of the jar file. Now let's hit enter. And we obtain this application. So let's write some text in the title field. And let's click on OK. We can see that the title has been modified and also we have this message on the console. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.